Hi everyone, today I'm going to be colouring in this um, trifle. Um, this is from Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. I thought it would be a fun one to do. Um, I thought we'd start with the spoons because actually they could be a little bit tricky. So I'm going to use my cold greys and try and create a slightly silvery effect. Um, it's a little difficult with something this small but I shall have a go. So I'm going to start with my cold grey too and I'm just going to colour the whole thing in this to create a base but quite a pale base as you can see you can't well you may barely see it to be honest but I don't want them to be too um too brash and dark colored I guess I'm going to jump up to the cold gray four now I'm thinking you know the center of the spoon here is going to be shadowy because it's dipped in. So I'm going to follow Johanna's marks and add a shadow into the spoon and I'm just going to slowly build up the colour until I feel that it looks right. Like that actually, maybe just a tad more. I don't want to go in with too much of a dark colour to start with because um, it's harder to erase than it is to add extra layers. I can go in with a little bit more confidence on the second spoon, knowing what I've done. So harder in this bit where Johanna's shown us to do more colour, that helps us. There we go. And on the handle, I'm just going to put a little more at the base of each just so that we can see because that other grey was so pale we couldn't really see that there was even any colour there so we take a bit down there it will just make give the idea that it's slightly shiny so that's that's that it's quite simple I haven't um, done anything too tricky but we still get a little bit of an impression that we have got a silver spoon there now our trifle I think I'm just going to start the bottom layer and work up. Now usually at the bottom layer of a trifle we will have some sponge, um, some sponge fingers. For people who don't know about trifles, if you're not from the UK, you may not. So we're going to use the brown ochre. We're using all our polychromos today just because they happen to be open on the desk next to me because um, I'm using them for another picture and it's just easier for me. So I'm using this brown. It's quite I don't want it too dark because um, the sponge that we use in trifle is quite pale. I tend to use some um, something called sponge fingers. What people tend to do is they might soak them in some alcohol. I want that slightly paler. I'm going to grab some yellow. It's not a yellowy yellow. This is the yellow ochre, so it's a slightly browny yellow. Just go over the top a little bit with that, just to tone it down a bit. I put down too hard a layer I think. Now our sponge fingers are usually really pale, although of course these could be soaked in some sort of dark alcohol. So you usually get some alcohol soaked into these. I don't drink alcohol so I wouldn't do this in mine. I don't really, not a big fan of the sponge in the bottom of a trifle, it's very soggy. So I'm going back to my brown ochre and I'm going to just shade a little bit towards the bottom of each piece a little bit darker where there would be a little bit of shadow where they're meeting each other. I know I said it was too dark but that's why because I want to do this with them. But uh, anyway I don't like the sponge goes very soggy. So you would might have a layer of jelly next I'm thinking. Um, excuse me sniffing. I'm thinking maybe a sort of raspberry cherry type colour. So I'm going to grab this one which is madder and uh, do this layer in this colour. So uh, hmm. I do like a trifle but uh, as I say not a fan of the sponge. I usually just have fruit. Fruit, jelly, cold custard or blancmange. Mmm, lots of cream. Delicious. I can't remember the last time I had a trifle. So I don't eat sugar. So, 
don't really have it. Right, there's our jelly layer. Now I'm thinking, are we? I think we're going to have custard next. And I'm trying to figure out what sort of custard colour. I think this is my custard colour. Cadmium yellow. Um, because I like my custard quite yellow, quite orangey, quite um, coloured, quite intense. It depends how you make your custard. You can either make it using a powdered mix, which is what I do. And uh, I use a lot of powder to milk to make it quite strong. Or you can uh, um, use a... Um, um, what am I trying to say? Um, use, make it yourself from eggs. And of course it depends on how the colour of your yolk. Now the next layer I think is cream. I'm not going to do it white because cream isn't completely white. I'm just sharpening up my pencil which is, whoops, which I've just dropped. Which is ivory. I'm going to use the ivory. Hopefully you'll be able to see. It's, uh, it's not very um, bright but it just take the paper's quite ivory anyway so it hasn't really done a lot now these look to me like half strawberries um, so we're going to grab a strawberry colour I'm just looking at what we've got I'm thinking this one I'm just going to sharpen it and I shall tell you what it is it is it is scarlet red. I don't know if you can see that. So uh, I'm going to colour the strawberries in scarlet red. I'm just going to give them each a light layer and then we'll think about how we're going to shade them. The page keeps moving, which isn't helpful. The sun keeps going in and out today. I don't know. Uh, how that's affecting the light on the on the filming hopefully it's okay now I'm trying to think the inside of a strawberry these bits are usually a bit lighter I'm gonna go darker at the bottom I think I want all of it to be a bit more intense anyway but these are the inside not the outside of the strawberry so we don't have the seeds on it gonna go like that now I'm trying to decide what to put on top I'm wondering about some sort of pink blancmange might be nice so I'm gonna grab this tiny you will laugh <laughs> I think it makes a great blancmange color but I need to tell you what color it is it is light magenta Or it could be Angel Delight or Instant Whip, depending on whether you buy the branded product or not. Strawberry Angel Delight? We've got raspberry jelly at the bottom. Maybe that's strawberry jelly. Mm. And on the top we're going to have another layer of cream. It just isn't going to show up if we try and colour it in. Um, I think I'm going to go back to using the ivory and just push some colour down anyway. There is a cream in this set but I can see that that's coloured in so I don't know if you can. Now we've got our container and we want it to look slightly glassy. I realise we've got gaps here. I think there might be gaps. Um, sorry I've got to blow my nose. Um, there might be gaps between them because we've got this layer of cream or would the blum, would the blancmange have scrodged through I think I'm going to grab this pink and just do whoops it's a slippery little thing it wants to get away it knows it's nearly off to retirement I think I'm going to put that pink in there so it looks like it's all in between you wouldn't really get gaps in a trifle so I'm going to grab this um, cold grey 2 to do our glass 
hi sorry about that I hope the phone didn't make you jump I've been on the phone a long old time and it's got really dark in here so I hope that hasn't made the light go really strange on the camera what I'm um, going to do now is the glass of the pot and we're nearly done um, I was going to do it in a grey but I think that will look too similar to the spoons so I'm going to use this blue this is the um, sky blue um, and I'm going to so it might look a bit like blue glass rather than clear but I think that's okay and I'm just going to put some on the top there look it's quite pale and a little bit on this side to match I'm going to leave a gap I'm going to do a fair bit underneath here and then fade it up the side like that and then on the base do some on the edges where Johanna's drawn her little lines again to guide us very usefully but to leave it a little bit white in the middle I don't know how well that is showing up but hopefully you can see sorry the book keeps moving it uh, the, this book doesn't hold open particularly well I think it's because it's maybe because it's new I don't know and I'm going to use my gel pen to give a bit more of an impression of glass so the key is for this is to follow the shape of the item so round and the same here but we'll do a few dots down here to make it look a little bit different so hopefully now that brings that glass forward so it looks a little bit more like um, the items are inside a glass bowl hopefully so that's it that's all we're going to do so that was a very quick little extra bit since the phone rang for me but uh, but that's that so i hope you enjoy your try for i'm going to go and tuck in now <laughs> and uh, thank you very much for watching and happy coloring